Hello, first graders. Today is Tuesday, March 24th, 2020. And here to help us with our schedule today are Ox, of course, and he has a couple of new friends, Bubba the Shark and Current the Red Bear. So today for reading, you are going to be looking at your shared reading book. I'm going to zoom in on the computer here, and I just want to show you what that book looks like. So it's purple. It says seven, eight on it, my shared readings. And you are going to be reading this story first, Cars. Now, in that story, you're going to read aloud the text. You are going to also find the word first. You're going to segment it, which means break it apart. It's going to sound like this. Er, st. And then I want you to think of another word that you can find in the story that ends with that blend st st. Um, and then after that, think of other words that you know that end with st. They don't have to be in the story, just other words that you can think of. All right, moving on to the next thing. After that, I want you to read out of your book bag. And then you can listen to a family member read a book, or you can go on YouTube and you can listen to me read aloud a story. Uh, after that, let's take a look at your writing for today. So your writing prompt for today says, what do you think schools were like long ago? Do you think students had the same type of technology that you have? Tell one thing you think we still use that students used long ago and one thing that is new. You can use the sentence frame that I'm about to read to help you answer it or you may come up with your own sentences. So my sentence frame goes like this. I think schools blank. Schools did or did not have the same type of technology because one thing I think we still use that students in the past used was something new we use is. Okay. All right, Ox, Bubba, and Current, let's move on. For phonics, you are going to be looking in your Tuesday, March 24th packet. You are going to have an ice cream cone worksheet. And let's take a look at that right now. So here's your ice cream cone worksheet and the directions say place the scoops of ice cream on the cones with the same sound. So if we take a look at the cones, you see this cone says long E. Long E means that it says its name. So instead of making the E eh sound, it's going to make the E sound. This cone says long U. So same thing, long U means that the letter U is going to say its name. Instead of saying a, uh, it's going to say U. So I'm going to read all these words to you, starting on the left side. Pete, cute, duke, flute, huge. Now let's move over to the right side. These, mule. Mute, rule, theme. Now, one thing about all of these words is they all end in E. And remember, the E, when it comes at the end of the word, often makes a vowel, such as U or E, say its name. Now your job again is to cut these ice cream scoops out and then place them on top of their correct cone, either a long E or a long U. Okay, so you also have a high frequency word sheet that you are going to be doing. It says your, no, found, always. Remember the word no has a digraph at the beginning, K-N, so that K is silent because a digraph are, is two sounds put together to make one new sound. I'm going to read these directions to you. It says, 
read the words in the box, write the word that completes each sentence. Okay, so you're gonna use those, sent those words that I just read that are in that box to fill in the blanks that you see to complete the sentences. I'm gonna read the sentences to you. Number one, is this blank old bike? Number two, I blank a nice place to ride. Number three, do you blank ride by the coast? Number four, I blank the hills are low there. The next part says write a sentence using a high frequency word. I would like you to try to use one of the words that's in the box up here, your, no, found, and always to write a sentence. Okay, so the next thing for you to do today is um, the topic seven review math page. If you check out the review um, math page video on YouTube, I explain how to do it and how to fill in that worksheet. Uh, after that, I would like you to choose a page that, it could be any page from topic seven or any page from any other previous lessons that we have done out of this book. And you can just do one. It can be the practice page or reteaching page, it's up to you. Um, the next is science. We're gonna be looking at parts of a plant. So I'm going to move this, let's take a look here. Okay, so parts of a plant, you're gonna unscramble the letters to name different parts of the plant. So as you can see, there are letters next to arrows that are all scrambled up. So you have to think of what part of the plant is that? So what would that word be? And then on the lines underneath those letters, you are going to write the word. Now, if you see on my paper, I wrote out all of the words you're gonna be finding just to help you spell it. So if while you're doing this worksheet, you can go back to this video. You can pause it right here if you need help spelling the words. Um, I'm going to read those words to you, starting from the top. Flower, bud, leaf, stem, roots. Okay, let's keep going here. The next part that we're going to look at is the plant life cycle. This is going to be a two-page worksheet. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the flashcards on this worksheet and you're going to paste them in the correct order on top of these numbers. So for example, if you think that sunlight is the first thing that a plant needs, you're going to paste that right here. And then the last thing on your schedule for today is to choose something from the PE Choices page. All right, Ox, Bubba the Shark, Current, thank you so much for your help today. Students, I'll see you in a later video. Bye.